Devotion for Thursday, October 8th. Our devotion today comes from Max Lucado's book, God is With You Every Day. Our Bible reading is from Romans chapter 5, verse 17. Paul writes, For the sin of this one human being, Adam, caused death to rule over many, but even greater is God's wonderful grace and God's gift of righteousness for all who receive it will live in triumph over sin and death through this one human being, Jesus Christ. The meaning of life, the wasted years of life, the poor choices of life, God answers the mess of life with one word, grace. We talk as though we understand the term. The bank gives us a grace period. The seedy politician falls from grace. Musicians speak of a grace note. At church, grace graces the songs we sing. In the Bible verses we read, Grace shares the church, church parsonage with its cousin, with its cousin's forgiveness, faith, and fellowship. Preachers explain it, hymns proclaim it, seminaries teach it. But do we really understand it? Here's my hunch. We've settled for a wimpy, grace. It politely occupies a phrase in a hymn, fits nicely on a church sign, never causes trouble or demands a response. When asked, do you believe in grace, who could say no? Have you been changed by grace, shaped by grace, strengthened by grace, softened by grace. God's grace has a drenching about it, a wildness about it, a white water rip tide turn you upside down, downness about it. Grace comes after you, it rewires you from insecure to God secure, from regret riddled to better because of it, from afraid to die to ready to fly. Grace is the voice that calls us to change and then gives us the power to do it. Let us pray. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. God, thank you for your grace, which continues to come after us, turns our world upside down, rewires us, secures us, and saves us. Amen. I hope you are able to see God's grace in your life today.